Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War with the American Civil War mod. And as the picture I'm about to put up here for you, you can see that uh, we've made a new enemy. Great Britain has had enough and declared war on us. It's not so much that I'm afraid of their armies, it's more that we lost the trade with Great Britain, which is bad. Um, so, really not good. With that said, however, let's go ahead and have Beauregard take back St. Louis. Uh, they put up quite a lot of men. Let's see if they want to surrender. No, they do not want to surrender, which means I'm going to have to fight them over it. Once we've fought over them, we'll see if we can get a truce, a temporary truce, with uh, the United States. And uh, beyond that, I'm possibly thinking about giving um, Great Britain Upper Canada, but then I realized that uh, when looking at the territories I need to control for a victory, it actually is uh, Missouri that is missing and um, the Quebec area. So I need to actually fight the Brits to, I guess they've taken the victory results from some Indian faction or something. So uh, that's why we need to take Quebec and a few other places. But yeah, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and recapture St. Louis and see if we can't uh, force the Union to come to the negotiation table. So we've seen this field before. Here is where I have one of my few losses of the campaign where I organized the fence around the fences here, but uh, once this house was taken and the uh, officer in charge of the defense was killed, it was all over and the troops fled. This time we're back in force, um, but uh, not that many men as we lost almost half the army, 1500 men last time. Uh, so we can see that the brigades have been cut down to size. So there's no not going to be any flanking or any more than that. It's probably going to be just the brigades going straight on. So 1st Brigade, 2nd Brigade and 3rd. Same kind of build up all for the units in the brigade as well. With that said, let's go ahead and start. And we can see that the Union has put up a large amount of large body of troops on the hill to the left of town. And then the rest of the troops find themselves within the village. And I can see that they've put their howitzer right in the middle of town. It's a 38 pounder. Means that it will outreach us. And uh, oh, there's the reinforcements with more cannons. Um, right. The more numeral cavalry units. We'll try their best to intercept the enemy while these two will do a wide flank and we'll see how that goes. We'll have 3rd Brigade advance towards this wall, 2nd Brigade move into the forest, 1st Brigade move straight forward hopefully catching these guys and the reinforcements. And there we have it. Most likely I'm going to have to uh, move my uh, cannons forward to actually reach some of the, u the enemy units. They're advancing straight at us here. Uh, so we're most likely going to need aid of the cavalry because these there's a quite a lot of men in one of these units. And I need some favorable grounds. We need to get up we'll just hold right here. We do have artillery coming in. I think we'll focus in on the large unit. The cavalry took a really strange way to get to its destination and at this point it's it looks like it's gonna run straight into this. The vendettes will charge. The partisans will continue and try to get the artillery. Let's see, will the Union, will they be able to fire in time? No, they will not. 
and the cavalry was able to strike and right in the middle of the charge it took about 40 people and they scatter before the cavalry not really great strategy at the same time the enemy is coming under attack over here uh, cavalry so the big unit will uh, go and deal with these guys while the cavalry will go into town and get rid of that artillery piece Ooh, my uh, partisan rangers is under attack by the artillery see if they have time to charge before the enemy switches to canister and starts shooting us set up here first brigade first brigade you will hold there Let's go over to the Potsons, as they're just about to... Oh, look at that. What happened over here is my cavalry unit is not going to hold in a prolonged fight against all these troops. However, let's see, where is this unit? Yes. Ready to charge in. The enemy here decides to march straight into our fire. And with the cannon fire coming in as well, they clearly did not do that well. And I mean, I saw the Irish, but they're down to just uh, just 34 men now, and the rest of those units are getting destroyed. Artillery fo will focus on this, the most numeral unit, and the partisans. I think the partisans can do a full-on charge on that one. Complete route over here. The cannon is falling apart. This unit. Well, I actually sent the wrong unit in to deal with the cannon, did I not? I was supposed to send the big one over here, but it doesn't matter now. Cannon is gone. These guys are gone. You know what? The retreating troops, there's no point in chasing them down because it's town battle. So they will die either way. Wheel to face the guys in the forest. And the third brigade will come in. Try as well. Most likely that's not going to be needed. The Parchsons are fighting the enemy general, I think. No, it's they're still fighting a uh, Union regular unit. Probably not doing too well, so. Try to join the other cavalry that is actually fighting a Union general. Uh, why am I sending Beauregard over there? move back and then the cannons cannot reach one can actually reach one cannot oh they they charge the cavalry but that just puts them within range of the artillery and as the rest of the units are being destroyed all I need is one good hit. The enemy general actually sent the cavalry off. Let's see if the partisan rangers can get in there before I have to send in Beauregard to deal with this this upstart. You know what? Hold your fire. Canister. Pick your targets. Do we have something loaded? Come on, give me, tell me at least one cannon is loaded. Oh, we no, it's they didn't have time. Probably still could. Oh wait, what's this? His bodyguard. Some kind of. I guess the Union is really running out of um, supplies at this point. Since they're sending in these <laughs> these kind of uniformed soldiers, and there the general is gone. Victory has been achieved. Oh, we have still this unit left. They're wavering. They're tired. They've been. Sh they've been. Oh wait, we've got one over there as well. Third brigade advance. I think we can take the uh, the enemy out just with my cavalry. 
these guys have been running after this cavalry unit, so... Bloody morons. You know what, let's charge them before they get into a position to regroup and fire. Hopefully we'll have time to get get them before that. It's a thin blue line. My cavalrymen are tired though. And the enemy decides to move just in time for the charge and cavalry is able to break straight in through the thin line and shatter the unit. And uh, that's it. We are well victorious. So let's go ahead and take a look at it as we've taken St. Louis. And I'll see if I can get a truce with the Union. And here we have the statistics of the battle. I lost 329 men while the enemy lost everything leaving only 10 men alive, which I guess was a reinforcement unit. Even Beauregard managed to get some kills. Highest skills goes to a regular unit with 114. Well, not, it wasn't really a spectacular battle, so shouldn't really expect that much. But St. Louis, back in our hands. Can't repair it because I've spent the money on other things. But uh, it's back, and with that, we have secured the center and cleared off all enemy troops. Which means that everyone over here can start moving to the north. Um, which we should have Beauregard and then also Longstreet with his small force coming up. can probably pick up as he goes, pick up the uh, volunteers and stuff. And then we can see Jackson continue on towards New York. Um, the British are probably not going to come in time to actually attack over here. I'm planning on sending these men forward over here. We're going to scout what we have over here. Okay, so we've got actually got quite a bit of yes. British troops here. So it's actually going to be slightly difficult to get that done. The thing is though, these are unmodded troops. So, I mean, they have a lot of troops, but we'll just crash through them with whatever we have but uh, hopefully they won't be able to attack in uh, in time before uh, my troops are recruited here so with that said let's go ahead and see if we cannot get a truce of the United States we'll request peace in exchange for technology no let's just start off with a peace and trade agreement will you accept that Abraham Lincoln and Lincoln accepts. They're allied with the British. That could have been a... The, the uh, Union managed to get... Uh, get the British in on their side. So now we're only at war with Great Britain. And all the Union troops were forced away. Which gives me back this harbor and a lot of stuff. The rebels are still here. So now I know what it is. It's Gatling gun. It's 24 Howard, sir. It's Irish troops. It's a volunteer infantry, and it's Mead. Jesus Christ. Um, what's this? 20th Maine. It's gonna be one hell of a battle as Lee tries to push through here. Um, and then we we have to deal with these rebels move our troops north the, the probably is probably best to move immediately okay so they're right they're gonna stay angry for a bit uh, we'll stay in there now but w what I need to do is recruit then uh, Confederate volunteers to hold the position same with over here which means that I probably need to go through a lot of these provinces and just remove the volunteers I have as uh, um, Let's see, what's my trade right now? So it, it has increased, my income next turn has increased. So I guess that's because we've got trade with the United States at this point to the value of 3,600. Um, it might actually have been better not to trade with um, the United States as they would have um, 
not been well they they wouldn't have um, they wouldn't have lost anything from us not trading with them because they wouldn't have uh, that to begin with but trading with them means they actually gained some cash uh, right uh, since we don't want to make a short, tiny tiny episode before these uh, Ohioans go ahead and burn the town of Kaihong, Kaihonga Falls. How the hell do you pronounce that? Kuyong, Kaihong, Kuyahuga, Kuyahuga Falls. I don't know. Uh, right. Let's take these volunteers and attack. Get rid of them. It's interesting enough that in most of my provinces, it's actually the upper class that are the one that's starting the revolts and not the lower ones. Unfortunately, the first uh, attempt at this battle crashed, so we're gonna have to do this again. Um, very easily enough, we set it up in two brigades, one of which is in the forest, one is in the open, generals in the middle, and yeah, let's go ahead and start. Go ahead and attack. So they have one unit out here on their own, so we'll see about concentrating these three units, try to encircle him and kill him off that way and these three I'm not entirely sure I mean it's not a great position to attack because they're just hiding on this side of the hill so it could be that we just stop here until these guys have been able to defeat this unit and then can turn up the flank as we push forward so we'll have three units coming in from the front and then three coming in from the side. One of the things to look out for is, of course, the enemy cavalry. Which is sitting right there. Which is nice that I have the general then as a kind of a reserve. To be able to pull him up and uh, shoot at, uh, at where the cavalry turns up. Okay, so the enemy is pulling back from here. I'm going to tell these guys to start tilting this way. And we'll tell these guys we don't want to get too close. So we're going to hold right there. With the general a slight tilt over there. And we're not going to be able to catch this guy. So I'm thinking we're going to get all the way up here for our flank to be executed. Looks like he's actually moving back to join the main line. We'll see about dislodging this unit. Instead. Ah, look at that. They're turning. Possibly exposing their flank then. If I let the main assault then coming from this angle Then I can throw up the other brigade, plus the general, to attack them on the flank. And given that we have the hill in the way, we could probably get pretty close and uh, do a really close volley, kill them off. We might even be within range here. Doesn't look like it though. Push forward to the fence line, especially here get a good view down range towards these guys which is going to be very nice they're reorganizing the troops a little bit and looks like we've got it right here I'm gonna actually I'm gonna put it even further so we've got one unit entirely on this side facing down here and let's tell them to run What's this? Oh, they're just forming up. Right, they're on the move. And they're turning to face us. They've, half of the unit's gonna be in the forest, but half of it is gonna be in the open. Might not matter as much as they're gonna be facing three units against their single unit. And uh, looks like they're gonna be focusing on these two giving the possibility of the 90th regiment on foot to 
we moved up in the flank. First volleys take about 30 men out of their line. We'll see how they respond. Oh, there's actually, uh, oh, you know what? Right, let's turn here a little bit. And hopefully get these idiots to uh, not play around in slow-mo. Okay, so the enemy right now is just for some reason standing there taking fire. Took forever to actually respond to us. Get in line, you idiots. Alright, we're gonna go real close and fire at them. And hopefully scare them away. Unit ready? Right, advance. Could get them to actually turn here as we get closer. They're still not aware. That's close enough. They've already lost more than a hundred men. Point, there's 230 of them. They did shoot down the flag bearer. So they did turn to fire at the last instance. Okay, with that, this unit has to retreat back to the fences. As we can see, the enemy is now moving in force to attack. Gonna hold fire to make sure that we're uh, ready to face these guys, and I want them to be locked in combat with our men before I order the flank units on this side to attack. Gonna have to open fire here because the cavalry is coming in. You know what? It's time to advance these units. Unfortunately. Hopefully they can handle that on their own. Might not be able to. The cavalry, cavalry doesn't actually have that massive an advantage against infantry, especially with uh, the unit size being uh, as different as it is. But uh, they could very well take out this unit. Okay, so they've got two units facing us, and the guys coming up over the crest of the hill. And uh, the cavalry unit is still going strong here. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to tell this one to fire on them. And they're going to... Uh, okay. I was hoping they'd do that weird kind of oblique firing that they sometimes do. Okay, we want to catch these guys as soon as bloody possible. So up on the wall. And then this one will come along here. The general... You know what? We'll put him over here. You know what? The unit kind of did cut these guys down. I want I want them to run away just before these guys open fire. And I think rather quickly they'll turn the enemy cavalry away. Troops over here doing well. We got this unit. 
Um, let's hold fire. And these guys are about to volley. Let's get really close and fire them. Fire at the backs. Okay, the enemy was defeated over here. The general is getting in position. These guys need to go behind the fence, and so does these. Face the front. You will advance and flank. Let's see, are these these guys are just about to fire. So there's 300 of them, they haven't lost anyone. And uh, we didn't actually take that many of them. About 25. Which is a bit disappointing. This one will now focus like so, and you will focus like so. Got the general here. Actually a lot stronger than you think for a unit of 12 men. Now we're beginning to show. Now it's beginning to show. Casualties are mounting for this unit. Same with this one. We do we do have lost a lot of men just here, and I'm not entirely sure why these guys have decided to come across the wall. This crossfire right here is absolute murder for this unit. With these guys retreating, I'm not entirely sure why this one is out. Right, move up. You know what? Sound the charge! And why don't you come out in the open to deal with these guys and then at the same time kind of risky but we'll cross the open ground and uh, you will turn on the walls here. So we're completely surrounding the enemy at this point. You know what? You'll follow this one. Make sure that that one... We get rid of that one. Bayonet fighting on the hill. Our volunteers should be able to deal with these guys, I hope, since uh, it's two on one. There's 160 of them, and there's uh, almost 500 of us, so should go pretty well. Tell this one to hold, to fire these guys in the back a little bit. And then the general's unit is coming up, ready to fire on the enemy. Which seems to actually be the focus of enemy fire, and not these three units. Right, the Union troop here is moving away, and that means that the guys in the forest are at this point completely surrounded. Ah, and these guys rallied. Come to the side of the wall, and yeah, look at this. We've got troops all around them. And it's beginning to tell. And as they're retreating here, we've got this unit coming up to fire on them. And as they're retreating as well, we've got this unit. So they don't know where to go. They're boxed in. We still do have this unit over here. So I think it's time to hold fire. Relocate to take care of the general. And to take care of this unit. bit unfortunate that we have to fire at this angle because we'll shoot in on our own unit but there goes the enemy general he's shattered meaning they've got a single unit left 
It's called Settler Rebels. But there we have it, the men of Ohio, the tried the Ohioans, that try their best. Well, really what they did was they raided their own farmland, so... I don't know what, I, I don't know what their, their plan was really. But hopefully we won't be seeing these guys again. With that said, let's go back to the campaign map and take a look at uh, how we did. I lost 500 while they lost a thousand out of their force. Unfortunately, there are still 460 rebels left. So they might very well... Oh, they're still there. How nice. Then uh, I guess they weren't able to retreat to town. Hugo Dare. And boom, you're gone. Stick it through them. And uh, then return to Ohio. We're just out of range. The thing is, looks like we're actually having these guys under control at this point. Sir. So I don't really need that many men. I'm gonna merge these units. And, uh, well, there was some general that was gonna pick up some of these guys on the way through here. So we're not, so I'm not actually, I was thinking of deleting that guy, but no. Um, right, so since I've managed to fit two battles in this one, those might be a little bit long, so we're not going to go through much. Anyways, I think that last time, time when it crashed, um, the part that I recorded before this has probably sufficient enough. Uh, information and so forth, so I'm going to end it right here. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!